Ships by design are meant to float above water, but in this next story, they're not. Tonight, we're talking about crews deliberately sinking two vessels to actually help the environment. In this exclusive report, our Jessica Clark takes us to an under the water where old boats are creating new habitats. Heading out into the Atlantic, Harold Conger is about to witness something a captain usually doesn't want to see. Normally, no. <laughs> Two sinking ships. That's a bad thing. <laughs> but in this case. That's what they wanted to do. They is one guy, Joe Kistel. I'm going to rig up three sink cameras. And his group that works to create artificial reefs. I wonder what year that was built. It's called Tessiri, which stands for Think It, Sink It, Reef It. At what point do they say, let's get the heck out of here? This project was several years in the making. Kistel, the one wearing yellow, is in charge of sinking this old sailboat and this old tugboat. You still got about a foot, foot and a half in the front. Location, 28 miles off the coast of Jacksonville. Uh, it's washing in now. Into 90 feet of water. Getting close. At a permitted artificial reef site. It's going down. The method? basically opening up plugs on the boats and letting water fill them. Before the ship sink, Kistel and his team are on board, putting cameras on them in order to get those video images of what it looks like going down. There you go. They are in a rush now. All hands on deck. It's pretty surreal when you're standing on the boat and it's actually already sinking. More boats gathered around to help and to watch. I'd like to see that sailboat in this good days. In fact, that sailboat was one man's dream boat. He had it custom made but never fully finished. It'd be quite a vessel. And the tug? This was a Navy tugboat. Had this service life for however many years. Accomplished all these things. You know, had people living on it for years at a time. Both ships no longer viable vessels on the water. Kistel's team acquired them, and Mobro Marine helped strip them of anything that could damage the environment on the ocean floor. The water's all the way up to the deck face throughout the entire hall. And then, after watching them slowly... All up on the deck now. ...fill with water... Here she goes! ...the sailboat slipped under the waves. <laughs> And then the tug. Long life of service, and here she goes. Both leaving sudden voids on the ocean's surface. Not even groaning. Both sinkings bringing cheers. And those cameras attached to the boats? If you've ever seen the movie Titanic, when you watch this, it looks like so. The, the helm camera is looking you know, where the captain would, would be skipper in the boat. And as it went down, the water came in the helm area and just kind of, as a blue wall comes in, and then it encompasses the whole vessel, and then it sinks to the floor, and then when it hits the camera, falls again. So you actually had a pretty clean view. You can actually watch the boat impact the seafloor, which is, I've never seen it, it's really amazing. And on that seafloor... We have proof of how they landed, and they are upright. These shells of ships will become sanctuaries for marine life. Probably within a few weeks, there's going to be a lot of fish already on it. Kistel and his team sank a ship nearby in 2009, and this is what it looks like now. But what happens is, is over time, when you get the, the growth and the corals and sponges and those types of things, that's when the diversity really starts to multiply. Great for diving. It's pretty neat to dive on them. Great for fishing. So there'll be a grouper and red snapper. And Two multi-million dollar industries in Florida. Yeah, it's, it's great. The more, the more things we can put out here like this, the better for all the fishermen and, and the economy. A couple weeks later, Kistel and a colleague went to check on the recently sunken ships. It's kind of encapsulated under the ocean. If you can kind of envision these sailors working on this boat, you know, so many years ago, and it, it just kind of adds to the interestingness of, of being able to scuba dive these reefs. And, and even when you're up top fishing, you can see the thing every time you bring up a fish and realize, okay, yeah, there's a ship down there, and, and now it's, it's this recycled asset that has created this destination and it's a totally different use, but it is still providing service. And for Conger? You hate to see a, a good service vessel go down like that, but people's grandchildren could be diving on this thing or fishing on it. It'll have a, a purpose out here. A marine mecca, once a gathering place for life above the water, and now for new life below. Jessica Clark, First Coast News.